Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today I'm going to tell you about all the books that I've started but not yet finished. <laughs> So, very much like my unread books video, uh, like my unread, my physical TBR uh, video, uh, I'm just going to go through all the books. I might stop and say why I've not yet finished said book. Um, but yeah, I do, I might have a tiny bit of a problem. See, here's the thing. So, I'm a mood reader. I'm also very much... Oh, yeah, yeah I, I lose interest and get bored quite fast and uh, sometimes when I'm bored I tend to start like 5, 10, 15, 20 books, yeah. Um, uh, so it all adds up in the end and I do finish them. Um, some books will take a bit longer than others but them's, them's, them, them's that apples, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's just the way things are around here, but yeah, um, I'm a tiny bit embarrassed, but also I don't really care, but for sake of argument's sake, for just for funsies, um, I'm going to show you all the books I have started, and I'm going to tell you how far I am in said books, so, you know, let's just get into it. Music and Malice in Hurricane Time by Alex Bell. So I am, uh, I've read one chapter. I've literally read one chapter. Uh, I believe this was started amongst a bunch of other books um, when I just couldn't figure out what book I wanted to start reading. So I just started reading a chapter here and there. So yeah, book number one. Then we have Pretending by Holly Bourne, and I've taken the dust jacket off because, you know. Um, and there's no chapters in this. Um, well, there are chapters in it, just not chapter numbers. But I've read 128 pages, uh, but I do have a couple of more pages left. Then we have After Love by Tanya Byrne. Um, so I've read three chapters. Um, which is this much. This uh, was supposed to have read, I think it was in April. It was a, a book for one of the prompts. I can't remember what it was. But I think it was like LGBTQ plus something. Um, I don't know why I didn't finish. I got distracted, I'm pretty sure. Then we have The City of Brass by S.H. Chakraborty. Now this was our November pick of the month for the Chaos Corp book club club. Yes, I am very far behind. I have read uh, 16 pa pages, no, 16 chapters or 298 uh, pages. Um, I have this bit to go. It's not that I don't want to, uh, I just kept picking other books up between. Uh, the thing is with this, um, when I started reading this book, the font is so tiny compared to what the other books I was reading at the time, uh, that I just kept reading a chapter and then pick, putting it down and picking up something else and then going back and reading a chapter because I do want to finish it and uh, I do think I really really want to read the rest of the books but yeah, uh, I'm a bit behind. It happens. Uh, then we have Caught by Harlan Coburn and this I have read five chapters or like 65 pages. I'm not sure this is my cup of tea kind of a book, but yeah, um, I'll just read it when I'm feeling like boring crime novels. That's, I think that's what it was about. Then we have Summer at Hope Meadows by Lucy Daniels. So this is the first book in the uh, something Hope Meadows Hope Meadows series, is that what it's called? Yeah. It's based on the globally best-selling Animal Arc series. Okay. Um, so I have read very little. I've read a chapter. Whew, I thought I'd read more than that in this, I'm not going to lie. But it's not one I'm feeling like picking up at the moment. So it's just sitting there. Yeah. Continuing on, we have Guard Your Heart by Sue Divin. I'm pretty sure I've just read, like, yeah, I've read... 
a chapter of this as well. You see a theme here somewhere? Yeah. And then we have a Blood Mark by Tracy D. And uh, this is a book I'm currently um, very much reading, as well as City of Brass, I'm not gonna lie. So I have read 17 chapters, um, but I do have a good chunk more to read, but I am very much in the middle of this book. And another book uh, that I've taken the dust jacket off is uh, Walking on Sunshine by Giovanna Fletcher. <laughs> I don't think I've read very much in this. No, I've read a chapter. So I picked this up pretty much with the other one chapter books. Um, it wasn't really the same as her other books. I'm sure when I've read more, um, it will get back to me or not get back to me. That's the wrong ton of phrase. Um, it, it feels more, maybe, maybe when I've read more, uh, it will feel more like a Giovanna book. Uh, so far that first chapter did not. So I put it down for now. Moving on to The Burning Kingdoms by Sally Green. So I finished the second book in this series. This is the third one. Um, in, I want to say November. Um, so I picked this up, but then Christmas came along, so I didn't read very much. Um, how much did I read? It's great that they have, you know, numbers. Um, I read 64 pages, so not a lot. Um, I do, I am very much excited to finish this series, although, um, it took a while to get into book one, which was The Smoke Thieves, um, but then, uh, I think it took a year for me to pick up the second book, but the second book, I just fell into it and just devoured that thing, and the third book does not feel the same way so far, um, but I do want to see what happens in the end, so I'm gonna pick that up again soon. So this is a book I have read when I was about 10, um, but that, those were my mum's copies and then I got my own copies. Um, so I haven't picked this up in a while. Um, it's <sighs> The Iliad by Homer, by the way. Um, I haven't read, uh, I haven't picked it up in a while, but I read two chapters and I mean two chapters are apparently 44 pages long. Um, it's one I pick up and read a bit of every now and again, uh, but it's been a while since I picked this up, but I do uh, really want to finish it because I want to get to the Odyssey, which I also have in the other pile, and then I want them to, you know, live on my shelves. <coughs> Am I losing my voice here? Wow. And... The 100 year old man who climbed out of a window and disappeared by Jonas Jonasson. Um, so this is, you know, the international best-selling sensation. A lot of people like this book. I'm not really getting into this book. I've read five chapters, which apparently is 44 pages. Um, <laughs> they seem to be short chapters. Uh, so far, the the 100 year amount is uh, very grumpy and is not really feeling it. I'm not really sure what's happening, but um, people seem to be taking advantage of this old dude. I mean, as can happen. And then we have Gemini, the second book in the Illuminate Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Uh, I've, no, I've not read a lot in this. No, I've read 28 pages. Um, so... It took a while for me to get into the Illuminae, the Illuminae, Illuminae first book in this series. Uh, and then once I got into it, it was the end. And then, I mean, I knew from the start that uh, Gemini was going to follow a whole different set of people. Um, <laughs> so I kind of, yeah, I, ca I kind of figured that I would not be reading as much. Well, I wouldn't be reading this whole book as fast as I did the other one. I mean, it took a while to read Illumin, I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, I've not picked this up in a while either. Uh, but it's there for the taking. Hopefully, I will finish it this year. Yeah. And then we have the Christmas... No, not that. We have Christmas Dropper Hold by Sophie Kinsella. Also one I've not read a lot. One I have read two chapters. Here's the thing with the Shopaholic series, they tend to give me such anxiety for like the first half of the book and then it's just like the last quarter 
where I'm like excited about it and then it's finished uh, but I do want to finish this book because so far this is the last in this series um, so you know I will have read all the books as you do sometimes and also by Sophie Kinsella I have uh, I owe you one so this is a standalone uh, novella I've read one chapter <laughs> yeah this this is uh, this is what I do Again, I will finish it eventually. I should do a new pile here because this one is uh, looking a bit wobbly. Right, so next up is A Boy Queen by George Lester. And I do kind of have all the vibes with this cover. I've not read a lot. No, I read a chapter. Of course I have. <laughs> oh, of course I have. I have no words for myself. This is a uh, next book I am in the middle of as well. So, A Court of Silver f uh, f la la, A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. As uh, yeah, I read seven chapters, not a lot, but it is a very chunky book and I also just started it, so you know. <laughs> I do want to know what Nesta's up to and I do hope that yeah, whatever else. Um, next up is The Chocolate Lovers Club by Carol Matthews. Um, I read six chapters and apparently the, uh, the chapters end right in the middle of, uh, the page. Great. That's maybe why I haven't read more. Also, I do remember this feeling a lot more adult, um, contemporary than, than, and by adult contemporary, I mean like old adult contemporary, not 30, 20, 30, 40-ish. This feels more like 60 plus, but I know that the characters aren't that old, but I, it might be the writing in it. I don't know. I don't know. So next up is a Cephal Shirt by Kate Moss or Kate Mossy. I, I'm not really too sure about that. I have read uh, apparently two parts of the book because next up is part three. Uh, so that means I read 17 chapters or 125 pages. So this is very much a kind of a time travel -y kind of a old... No, not old. What's the word I'm looking for? Historical fiction, that's the word. Words. It's a heavy read. It's a fun read, but it's a heavy read. Uh, at least for my brain. <sighs> And next is uh, our, actually our February book club pick of the month for last year. Yes, I, I didn't actually finish this book, but it's To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. So I read um, up until 642 pages. So, you know, I do intend to finish it soon so we'll see uh next up is the fading by christopher ransom i'm pretty sure i've read one chapter no i've read two chapters wow yeah cool <laughs> cool cool and uh then we have the dark path by michelle Sachs. also the same kind of vibes there uh i don't know how many chapters i've read but i've apparently read seven pages cool yeah, let's let's not talk about that. Um, then we have Ariane by Jennifer Saint. So this is uh, Greek mythology, which I very much enjoy. Um, I don't know why I've only read two chapters, but that's apparently how much I've read. So I don't know why I had put this down. Not gonna lie. Next book I've also very, very recently started, and it's The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. So I'm only um, 34 pages in. I'm about to start chapter four. Very excited about it. And this next book, also Brandon Sanderson, it's The Arcanum Unbound. Um, so I've read The Eleventh Metal, Empress Soul, 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 Empress Soul, and The Hope of Elantris. Uh, this one will be a ongoing one uh, because I can't actually read all the um, short stories or whatever um, before I actually am at that stage in sanderson's cost me thing um so that's an ongoing one that will be ongoing for a while 
Next up we have The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, also a book I saw in February last year. I got about 96 pages in, mm, yeah. It's a chunky book. It's not just that it's a chunky book, the, the theme, the writing, the whole story of it is chunky and I was not feeling it at the time apparently. Uh, I do intend to finish this one and um, this to Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini and I, I think I'm gonna try to do that in February to be like a, uh, so this, uh, these books a year ago, let's uh, finish them now. Cause why not? Why not? And then the last of the fiction books um, is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. So I read about 86 pages and apparently stopped in the middle of a chapter that's that's awesome. I, it's because the chapters are a million pages long. Cool. So this, I started reading it with Babel, Babel, whichever wording, wording, whichever pronunciation you want to use. Um, but this felt a lot heavier, a lot darker, and not really my mood vibe thing at the time. So um, I put this down and just read Babel, Babel, mini Babel Bells. Um, but I will finish it soon. I, I started it quite recently, so it's fine. And then I also have two other books. I have a autobiography, and it is uh, The Fry Chronicles by Stephen Fry, No Dust Jacket. And this is a book I, I read 202 pages, 201 pages, and I do just pick it up every now and again. I don't really count uh, autobiographies as... Uh, on my like Goodreads uh, challenge and stuff so it's just one I pick up every now and again I haven't picked that one up in a while either anyway the very very last book also one I do pick up a bit every now and again uh, and read a short story in uh, and it's the Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales yeah also not one I'm counting on my Goodreads so it's uh, fine. I have read 51 pages or oh, let's see or 18 short stories you know however you want to count it there are let's see how many are there 211 <laughs> cool um yeah just want to pick up every now and again no so here is the complete number of the books I've started but not yet finished. Cool. So now you can all feel better about yourself uh, for whatever reason. You start a book, if you don't finish a book, I don't know. This is just the way I am. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope it's not been too chaotic but I know it's been a bit chaotic. And I feel like I've kind of lost my voice in the middle of it. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We deal. We deal. So, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time today. Take care. Bye-bye.